Welcome to the Guitar Resource Podcast. Practice topics for the beginning and intermediate guitarist. Hello. This week, let's talk about the uh, major scale, and we're going to work out uh, pattern uh, region. So uh, to start out with, let's come up with an octave shape. So we have the C notes here. Uh, so I'm using my first finger on the fifth string, third fret, and third finger on the third string, fifth fret. And so we're going to be shifting between third position, where we are now, and then second position as well. So let's try second finger on that C, third fret, fifth string, and fourth finger on that string three, uh, fret five. So you can do one and three, and two and four, same two notes. So let's work out the major scale they so gotta get get our, our point of reference here. So we have C, which is third fret on the fifth string, and then fifth fret. Okay, now moving over to the fourth string, we have second fret, third fret, fifth fret, and then moving on to the third string, we have second fret, fourth fret. And fifth fret back down. We have fifth fret, fourth fret, second fret. And then moving down a string, we have fifth fret, third fret, second fret. And then moving down another string, we have fifth fret, and we have third fret. Okay, so that's great. We have the major scale. What if we want to go lower or higher than that range, uh, but we still want to think in the key of C? So let's work out a pattern here where we can uh, think in C, and we have all, all the available notes that we can reach within a, a couple positions here. So that's our pattern uh, region. So we'll start here on the... 6th string, 3rd fret, and then we'll play the 5th fret. So now let's move to the 5th string. So we have 2nd fret, and a 3rd fret, and 5th fret. Okay. So we'll do the same, same thing on the 4th string. We have 2nd fret, 3rd fret, and the 5th fret. Okay, so now third string, we have second fret, we have fourth fret, and we have fifth fret. Now we're going to shift from second position to third position, and we'll play third fret, fifth fret, and sixth fret. And then we'll move to the first string, we have third fret, and fifth fret. So I'll just go over that again here. You can see I shifted up there on the second string. So let's work our way back down. So we have the, we're in third position. We have a fifth fret and third fret. Now second string, we have sixth fret. 5th fret, 3rd fret. Shift down to 2nd position here. We have 5th fret, 4th fret, 2nd fret. And then 4th string, we have 5th fret, 2nd fret, or sorry, 3rd fret, 2nd finger. And then 2nd fret. And then we have 5th string, 5th fret, fret, second fret, and then the sixth string, we have fifth fret and third fret. Okay, so one thing you can try to do here is take your scale, original scale that we're working with, 
Try going up as far as you can go, and then back down. Stop here for a second on the C, and then go back down as far as you can go, and then go back up to the C. Okay, so this gives us this uh, area to work with. And you might also think about the pentatonic scale as you're working through this, because uh, that will create a little bit of a framework for you. So let's go over that briefly. So we have third fret on the sixth string and fifth fret. And then fifth string, we have third and fifth. And then the fourth string, we have two and five. Same thing on the third string, two and five. And then we have the third fret on the second string, fifth fret. And the same thing, third and fifth on the on the uh, first string. So that can help uh, kind of keep us grounded as well. And you can also reduce it into thinking about the just the C major triad and maybe placing a chord. Okay. So if we had a capo on here, we would have the A shape, this is a C chord. But let's say we had a capo, we would play this shape, and then we would have a capo on the on the uh, third fret. So I would be placing, uh, just like A, I'd be placing a second fing first finger on the second fret, second finger on the second fret, and then third finger on the second fret from strings four, four, three, and two. So I'm actually playing an A now. And what we're doing is we're shifting that up three frets. So I'm just playing those three notes now. And then we would have a capo here on the third fret. Now. We can do this without a capo and put the first finger on the third fret and kind of bar that and then bar with the third finger on strings four, three, and two. Okay, and if you can't quite get that far, um, that's okay. You can just try to think about the, um, the pattern and a couple options uh, for that, that chord as well. You can try the first finger on the third fret of the first string, and then try the, th the third finger on the third fret fifth string, fourth finger on the second string of the fifth fret, and then play that chord, which is three strings. And then if you can, try to add that second finger to the fourth string, fifth fret. Okay, so to review, we have the C notes, C octave shape here. And we could play the scale through that. And then we can play the full range. pattern. Okay. Great. Well, thanks for uh, listening. Let me know if you have any questions or comments and be sure to uh, uh, subscribe to the, the newsletter and, and you can also follow me on uh, Facebook and Twitter as well. Now, um, recently we have had the uh, Dust in the Wind series, which is just uh, completed yesterday. So be sure to uh, check that out. I'm going to create a playlist so you can uh, find all those videos uh, easily. So if you get a chance to check that out, please do. All right. Well, I hope you have a great uh, week of practice and I hope you've enjoyed this uh, episode. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Guitar Resource Podcast. Be sure to rate and subscribe. Remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter.